Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host and engineer, run just a smidge late, and I've got on my fancy hat. Uh, Optifine, <laughs> Optifine gave everybody who support, supported them to a, uh, a fancy hat, assuming you also have the capes turned on. So, because I have that Optifine cape, I get that Optifine hat. Isn't that fun? Okay. First off, uh, <laughs> if you remember uh, Friday, I started building four small fountains. Uh, there are still four fountains. Uh, they, they might be a, a, a smidge bigger. Um, I'm not happy with the final design but I'm going to leave it like that because when, if you remember, I signed off after three hours uh, of being live way longer than my normal Friday night. And I had like three, three blocks to work into each fountain and I finally figured it out and I go to clean up my little chest over here. So that way I didn't leave stuff, you know, strewn about the server. And I found four more <laughs> stacks of the, uh, of the quartz blocks that needed to find a home. So I did. Each each of these has been expanded by all the quartz blocks that were left over. I am 99% sure that it is now good to go. So I'm going to stand here in the middle of them. I'm going to go slash is. And we're going to go to the challenges. And the Taj Mahal is... Ta-da! Done. I got 64 red sand, which feels a little bit of a waste. And my first three end portal frames. Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah! Also, uh, because of that and what I'm going to show you next, I should also be able to go challenges. Skylord. Ta-da! Oh, a full stack of sand. A whole 16 sandstone. <laughs> oh, wait, no, no, no. It's a half a stack of the slabs I need. <laughs> oh, it's enough to make you cry. Uh, <clears throat> some diamonds that I'm not sure what to do with and some emeralds that I'm always sure what to do with. Uh, yeah, between between all the quartz put down, that got my island level up to 563. Between all that quartz and what I'm going to show you next. Um, just out of curiosity, was there something else I was missing or no? Uh... All right, I'm still working on Great Pyramid. And in order to get the end portal, I need Beaconator, Poseidon's Halls, and Great. All right, I need the I need the Nether Fortress to get Beaconator. I need Poseidon's Halls. No, I need deep sea fishing to get Poseidon's Hall. So, yeah, I'm going to have to start working on that. That means I need a kelp farm. Uh, I I need a... I need a guardian farm. Uh, I need to get my hands on a Nautilus shell. Although I thought I already had one from one of the other challenges. Ah. Anyway, I, I'll take a look at that somewhere where I'm not having to worry about phantom spawn. Let me go put these valuables away uh, somewhere safe. Uh, because the before I nappity nap, I also want to show one other problem. I, I went AFK over there because I needed bones for bone meal. And one little, two little, three little villagers are... I don't know. They disappeared. Um, the rest of the island is a mushroom biome, except for those two chunks where the mob farm is. I have had a problem where mobs will occasionally drift and fall on that edge. But 
Normally it's enough to do them in. And if it was a mob that wandered over here from over there, be it a spider or a skeleton or or something of that nature, um, I wouldn't have expected the, the guys over by the iron golems to be the ones that died. And I would have expected the iron golem closest to all this to have received some damage. Uh, so I went in, I put a full set of trapdoor wainscoting, these iron, uh, the, the, these anvils were not there at the time, these guys went missing, and I think what I'm going to start doing is, whenever I do an AFK session, I'm going to just, like, start shutting down all the trapdoors or something. I don't, I don't know. So I, I need a new efficiency guy, which... I have words. I can't repeat them on a family-friendly channel. Uh, I'm going to need a new sharpness guy and I'm going to need a new protection guy because I would like to actually have some backup gear. Uh, if, if some unfortunate sadness befalls me with this gear, I am in, I, I am, I'm in trouble. Uh, so let me put the diamonds away, the emeralds away. Where do the end portals go? End portal frames go. I guess since I got the space, I, I'll put the end portal frames there for now. Um, I did find out the hard way in a test world. End portal frames are directional. This is not something you have to worry about in vanilla Minecraft. It's only something you have to worry about in in a uh, sky block like this. So when you put down the end portal frames, you've got to be standing in the center of where it's going to go and put it down one, two, three one two three etc etc um otherwise otherwise you, you won't get a portal oh and i'm gonna have to get a blaze farm of some sort going because i'm gonna need some ender eyes to put on the end portal frames and my entire stock of blaze powder for that sort of thing is right there that's it that's all i got uh, so I'm gonna have to do something about that too. Although I think there's a challenge that'll get you some blaze, blaze powder. All right, so that is number two on the agenda for showing things off. I I am going to, um, I'm gonna sleep because these days I've been working at the level where phantoms spawn, which I kind of forgot about until it became mightily important. I've extended this out to the border. I've extended this out to the border, so that way I know how far I have to work with. This one, I don't think I'm going to go all the way to the end. I think I'm probably going to stop it uh, here-ish, and then build it up into a giant porch-like outlook thing. So that way you can stand up on a raised platform and look at the neighboring islands. Um, and last but not least, that, <laughs> that big swath of blue glass, that has been where that, that a, that's where a lot of those points for the sky Lord came from and B that's where, uh, a lot of my emeralds and trading have gone. Uh, I, I think this is about where the, the land's end is going to be. Uh, I tried to get a little transition from grass to dirty grass and mud and then it's going to finally be in stone but I've discovered that working from the top down with stone arches is difficult so I'm going to try working from the bottom up um, I am kind of cranky that I put in the guardrails that are keeping me from jumping off though I am happy whenever they prevent me from falling off uh, so remember, this is this is the end idea. I want to do a fog effect and then two layers of actual water. Hello, beach duck. Um, so I I am spending a lot. <laughs> I am spending a lot more on blue dye than I thought. I grabbed three stacks of blue dye, thinking that would be more than enough. I was wrong. I was very 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 wrong. <laughs> Uh, this, this is a lot of blue glass. This is a lot of blue glass. And then I get to do it 
a second time, and then a third time, and then two more of cyan, and then two more of light blue. <laughs> Uh, I still want to work a little bit with Medic on what's going to happen with the transition between here and there. Uh, it does save me from the fall, but it is more for... I, I'm going to put a river that starts over at that end and comes around this way. And it's going to go to... Hang on. It's going to go all the way to the end of my island here, and it's going to wrap around this way. I just haven't figured out how far in I want it to wrap, and where this is a straight river, I want it to come out into more of a bowl cove kind of line. I'm actually thinking of making this like a little uh, bold lake of some sort, and setting up a little waterfall so like maybe run a a river from uh the fountains over into a waterfall in, that flows into the river or i don't know um we'll, we'll we'll see how far i get but i need to expand this out a little bit more and i it's got the straight edges for now but that's probably not going to be how it finishes. Like you can see where I was trying to work in a little bit of a, a irregular line there. And I want to do the same for the water. I actually want to have some areas where the land juts out over the water. I want to have a couple of spots up there where uh, it looks like the, the rock comes out and then cuts back down. Uh and I think that's going to be easier to build coming from the bottom up instead of from the top down. Maybe. Hopefully. We'll see. This this is... Uh, decoration is not my forte. Although, of the decorations, I do fare better with terraining than uh, buildings. Like, don't, don't ask me to make stuff like that uh, yet. I'll get there. Or, or stuff like Arcadius's Island, which I can't see because I'm below water. Blah, blah, blah. Um, <laughs> one nice thing, though, is that uh, with Medic's Island right here, and he's got that water that he hasn't cleaned up yet, uh, I've been using that as a safe place to jump <laughs> every time I need to head down quicker. It, it saves me from trying to run back to my own spot and then climb down. Uh I don't know. One of those things. Uh, I probably need to spend a look. Oh, yeah. I didn't finish clearing out for my last uh, mining session. Oh. Oh. Hello, blue dye. I needed you, so. All right, let me, uh, so that, that's pretty much the agenda for today is to, to work a little bit more on that river. I'm kind of hoping that I can figure out a rough outline for that bend and the bowl that it's going to expand out into. Uh, keeping in mind that I've got the unfortunately straight edge of the end of the island to work with. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do for, for the ends of the island too. I do don't know if I'm going to close those in or if I'm going to leave those open. I'll, I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Let me let me get some emeralds and then... Uh, oh, and I still got to make my animal farm too. I need 16 of these sheep so I can make one of each color. I think what I'm going to do is somewhere maybe here on this side of the slime chunk or over there... In this big area in front, I need to set up a cow farm, a pig farm, a chicken farm, and a wool farm. And if I can get it within, um, hang on, short term memory problems, uh, within 40 blocks of each other, then I can get the animal farm challenge, which will help. Uh, <laughs> uh, it also gives me a horse, which, I mean, okay. I, I think instead of, ooh, yeah, 
because I've got the I've got the where am I? I'm lost on my own island. On the other side of the the trading hall, I've got the those uh, skeletal horses, and I've got the mule. And I think I actually want those animals up on the top. So that way, once I finish the top part of the island where the decoration and whatnot is, I can actually ride the horses around up there. Um, that might even be what I make out of either the sand or the nether bricks now that I think about it. Uh, but we'll get... Oh, uh, if that looks bigger and a little different, it's because it's bigger. And a little different. I expanded out my melon farm and pumpkin farm, and uh, yeah, that that's been that's been nice. There's another four dirt there. There. Uh, unfortunately, because I've been uh, because I've been <laughs> so so quick on the on the challenge turn ins, uh, I've not. I've not been letting the timer reset, so these are getting kind of expensive. But on the other hand, they've been producing to the point that that's not really a problem. I do still need to work on overflow protection. It's not been an issue yet because I've been doing the challenge turn-ins quick enough. Uh, but you see, there's always something falling down, which is good. Uh, the pumpkins seem to take longer to grow. That's another thing for another time. I need to move this beastie out of the way somewhere else, so it, it's a little more accessible. And I don't, I don't like having the bone meal thing uh, inside the building like that. And I still need to decorate both of these guys. Don't know what I'm going to do with that, but I do need to decorate both of those guys. Uh, so I've got a stone cutter over there for the moment and some supplies for decoration. We'll see how that goes. Um. Oh, emeralds. I was headed over to the iron farm for emeralds. I'd remember it eventually. Just like I remembered to make coffee. You can tell by my fabulous cup of coffee. Oops. Oh well. Maybe I'll go steal a glass of soda from somebody for the... Caffeine fix. Oh, poppies. I always misjudge how many of those it's going to take to... How many placeholders I need to make sure they don't pile up too much. Because I've been deep dipping heavy into the iron. Uh, in no small part because I've been using iron blocks to build with. Uh, <laughs> I don't have as big a wool supply. So I needed something that was different enough. You know. All right. Um, I might have been blabbering too long, so I'm probably only going to get one round of trading from... Hey. Dude. Just real quick. Thank you. Hey. I'm going to do like Java usually does and, and, and wake you guys up. Until you, until you take care of what I'm looking for. All right. I'll leave the iron farm off for the moment. Because uh, I think I need to let these guys rest a little bit more than I have to. Um, I, I, it was starting to get to the point that I wasn't getting too... I wasn't reliably getting two rounds of trading with them. Which was limiting how much glass I could pick up. I've also been trying to figure out uh, what I want to do for the underside. I mentioned it last week. Uh, Green has a really neat setup on, on one of his builds where he's doing the same fog effect that I'm doing, but with black glass. And in between layers of glass, he's randomly got uh, end rods. So it looks like a starlit night sky um you'll notice i am short end rods because that requires materials that i need to travel to the end for and i only just now literally 20 minutes ago got 
the first three <laughs> of the 12 required end portal frames. So, uh, you know, I, I don't I don't think that's going to be happening anytime soon. Um, oh, that's been the other frustrating bit. Uh, of the villagers that went uh, missing, that guy was one of my glass traders. I put the blue, the blue banner behind that. And that guy was one of my glass traders. It was literally the only other reason to keep him around. Maybe this time I'll find somebody who gives me actual efficiency 5. That would be kind of nice. I, I don't I don't know if my uh I don't know if my village people staged a walkout or or what, but three of them disappeared. Uh I know it's not a zombie that took them because we're on hardcore, so they would have converted to zombies. Uh, if it was a skeleton, I can't figure out why the skeleton would have gone with those three and not some of the guys nearby. Likewise for a spider. Um, and honestly, I'm pretty sure for a skeleton to come through, uh, all these guys would have been toast. A and you would have seen one exceptionally sad Anon Jr. Uh... So, I, I think what I'm going to have to do is later off camera, because of the time it takes, I'm going to knock out the wall behind that guy and that guy, and then set them down with a few beds to uh, to get three more. Three more villagers. You know, set up a little temporary curtain, a little privacy. Let us grab a smidge more iron. That's probably more than I need for this, but, uh, hi guys. Oh, that's right. It's 7.30. You guys don't start work until 8 o'clock, because you're worse than bankers. Of course, I feel kind of bad for this. <laughs> All, all the times that I, I've worked retail sales where I'm trying to do the opening procedures and I got three more minutes before the store opens and there's some jack wagon standing outside the door, tugging on the handle and looking pointedly at me while I'm clearly setting up everything for the day. Yeah, I guess I'm doing that to the Minecraft guys. I'm sorry. You're already ready for the second round. Nice. All right, come on, guys. That, I got two more that should be able to give me a second round. All right. And one. And two. And I hate that, they, that there's limitations on how many times you can trade with villagers. Um, I was waiting for these guys to make a liar out of me, and I probably would have murdered one. Um... <clears throat> I, I mean, would have had stern words for one. All right, let's get some more. Uh, let's get some more glass and go from there. The long. Oh, uh, huh. I just realized I'm a little low on food too. I, I should probably do something about that. Let me go do that right now. Let's. Uh, hi, friend. I really didn't want to be spending these emeralds on food, but, uh, there we go. That's better. Well, that just ate into my available glass fundage. Hi. How are you doing? Uh, do I have enough blue dye or do I need to buy more? Okay. I think I've got enough for one more round. Who's uh who's got that last there we go. Ah I need two more blue dye. There we 
Hello, Mr. Clerk. Feels kind of wrong to be doing that with, uh, oh, oh, I've got all that sand on me. I was about to lose all that sand. Uh, 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 you know? Do I want? Yeah, I guess I do. Because the way we got things, I'm not going to get, I, I wish we had a way to bleach the sand. I should probably start working on something like that. Uh, what do, oh, dirt. Uh, let me put that away and I'll keep the stack of dirt because I'm going to go ahead and expand out what we have up near the top. Um, let's get our last little bit of blue glass. Yeah. Alright, that's a fair chunk. That'll get us through at least a few minutes. <laughs> Alright, um, yeah, I need to, I'll play with the design a little bit more. I really don't like the quartz pillars, so I'm definitely going to swap out these quartz pillars at the base here for something else. Maybe bricks, and keep the chiseled on the side. Now that, now that the challenge is done, um, I know... I know, oh, er, I know I don't know exactly where I want to go next with the the top part. I think I'll put down the dirt and let the grass grow for now. I know I'm going to need to make, oh, thank you. Somebody just made coffee. Sweet ambrosia. Um... I know I'm going to need to make a little more podzel so I can finish wrapping around this way and around. And I know I'm going to need to make more coarse dirt for the same reason. That's why I left the two stacks down there. Uh, I'm still going to have to figure out just how far I'm going to go around. And I guess that's part of what I'm stalling for is I, I just, I don't... I don't know how far I'm going to go with the bowl, and I don't know if I'm going to... Actually, now that I start working on framing the question, I think... I think one of the things that I'm going to do... Is leave you hanging in suspense. No, I, I think one of the things that I'm going to do is that base layer is going to be the smallest point of the bowl and each succeeding layer of glass is going to go out a little bit bigger so it gives it more of a uh, convex concave I can never remember which is which uh, but a little bit more of a curved feeling to to the way things are uh, yeah yeah, I like that. I like that idea a lot. Alright, so those are going to go there. I got my pick. I, I should probably put my axe away since I don't need that for the moment. Um, I'm going to need cobble and all the varieties. Don't need buttons because that's not going to go underneath. I will need stone. Uh, I will need andesite. In a few different varieties. I'll take some clay. Uh, no gravel yet. I might throw a couple of ores under underneath. Although, now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder how it would look to have a couple of... Oh, 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 no, no, no. Don't stand on the fire. It's a little toasty. Uh, 
I wonder what it would look like to have some random buttons in the middle of the fog and all that. And again, this this is the end idea. I like I like the way that this this ends up. So the layers of glass will um, will create this fog effect. At least as long as I get Optifine on and it does the borderless glass. Um, I do need to make sure that when Reyes shows up, I let her know to not upgrade her launcher because the updated launcher doesn't play nice with Optifine. And Optifine is working on that. So uh, as long as she wants to be able to use Optifine, she needs to not upgrade the launcher yet. I, I'm actually glad that I randomly pulled up Twitter uh, when I should have been doing other things <laughs> and uh, saw the tweet from Optifine saying that they're working on the problem. Ooh. Oh, and just in case you're wondering, since, you know, all that blue glass... Up, dropped, used. I have used 2,746 blue glass. <laughs> I've crafted 3,136. <laughs> I mean, if we get, let, let's go to the times crafted. Yeah, the, obviously cobble slabs are way at the top of that uh, for obvious reasons. Emeralds, breaking them back down from emerald blocks. Uh, same with the iron and stone, bone meal, no surprise there. Spruce, that that is my favorite wood to use. I've made a fair few stone bricks. And smooth stone slabs. The iron nuggets doesn't surprise me because I made a whole mess of lanterns not too far back. Uh, the blocks of iron don't really surprise me. Neither does the paper, actually. Um, I'm surprised that it counts that as crafted since I have not actually crafted any glass. I've bought glass. Uh, but, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my. Oh my. Okay. All right. Let's um I should have brought a bed with me. Let me go grab a bed. That that seems like it might be smart. Oh, so close. Because, you know, when I'm down here below Y40, I don't have to worry about phantoms. They do not spawn uh, below a certain Y level. But now that I'm playing in the place where they do, with a nice little void just off to my side, that seems like the sort of thing I should be a little more conscious of. Hi, guys. I shouldn't do that too much either with the void right there. <laughs> Oops. And no, I have no idea how far how far I'm going to go with this. Uh, I don't think I want the river to go too far over, but I definitely want it to be a little bit a little bit more than that 
Uh, I'm also gonna have to figure out how to round off that corner a little bit more. I don't, I don't like how squarely it is. Yes, I've been hanging out with Reyes too much. I said square, squirrelier. We'll try that for now. <laughs> There's been a fair amount of that too. Randomly putting a, a glass block where one, none was desired. And you kind of forget how much space you have for... Um, I wonder if I can make it into that on my next trip down. Sorry, I, I don't know what made me think of that. Uh, yeah, let me take this just a little bit... A little bit further. And I'm probably going to narrow narrow this up in places too. The, this is just to get a baseline location. Um... We shall, we shall see how the rest goes. I really wonder, am I, am I far enough over that that I can make it? Although th this also tells me about how close I am to the center. And I don't know if I want that overlook to reach over the water or not. Actually... I may, I may, I may do that. I may, yeah. Let's, uh, let's get this so that way the overlook stands over, over the water. Um, I may have to take a, a, I may have to divert my attention away from this magnificent river of glass so I can figure out how I want the overlook to work. Because much like the supports for the bridge, I want to make sure that they're integrated into uh, the water. Although I don't know if I'm going to have supports like pillars in the water or, or if I'm going to have like supports coming out from the, the landmass itself. Air quotes on that. Um... That is something to, to think deeply on. And I forgot to send it over to Arcadius uh, on Cord Killers today. They were talking about how the new Boba Fett series, uh, the trailer for it has finally dropped, so you can get a get a chance to get a little a little hint of what's in store. I, I kind of like how Brian starts off with uh, his disqualifier that normally he is cynically opposed to recycling popular characters for the sake of boosting uh, a franchise or something. Yeah, I just realized that the longer I make this river, the more I'm going to have to put for all six other layers. <sighs> yeah, let me round this off. Um, do I want... Yeah. Let's go... Like this? And then maybe... A little further out? Like 
because I am going to widen this out uh, a little bit more up top. Um, Anyway, um, sorry. I totally lost my train of thought there. Um, normally, Brian is the one who is against the recycling of popular characters for the sake of driving a franchise. Like, his whole contention is the galaxy is a pretty big place. You, you shouldn't... Aren't there more than the five planets that seem to always pop up uh is it really that hard to move about the galaxy and not run into a skywalker or a solo um because the the way things the way things usually run story-wise it seems like you can't go more than a few parsecs without running into a skywalker or a solo um which seems pretty weird given that the universe is a really big place. A and he then finishes with, but after seeing the trailer, I'm, uh, I'm boba curious. So, I don't know, I don't know how well that bodes. For, uh, for the franchise, but apparently they've done enough to get a, a dyed-in-the-wool cynic like Brian can, reconsidering his assumptions and whatnot. Mm, that's going to take a little more playing with, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get there when we get there. Yeah, that's going to take a lot more playing with. That's either going to turn out really awesome or really not. And I still got to worry about... Uh, or work on the, the... The second layer. Oh, there's all my blue glass. And the third layer. And the fourth. And the fifth. <laughs> and the sixth. And the seventh. Although, I, I dare say the upper layers are probably going to be a lot easier than the lower layers because here's where I'm trying to get everything established. By, by the third or fourth layer, I'll, I'll pretty much have an idea how everything's going to fit. Oh, that's what I forgot. Um, on this side, I don't think I'm going to worry about it. On the inside of the island, I don't think I'm going to worry about it. But what I don't know is in this direction, and most importantly, that direction, what am I going to do about that gap there? Like, should I, should I fill, should I fill the, the lip? So that way, at the, at the edges, set it up so that way, like, this edge where it abuts that island and that edge where you can see it when you're looking from one of the other islands I just go like so to give it a solid line down or or do I just leave it leave it open and just when you're looking over from Arcadius's island you'll see that there's layers of glass or do I let the water fall over the edge of the island into the void, which is another thing to consider as well, because I don't know if I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little glass retaining wall to hold the water in, or if I'm gonna let it flow off the end of the world. Um, I I'm not entirely thrilled with the idea of letting letting the water fall off the end of the world. Mostly because I'm klutz enough to actually drop something and then have to go fetch it from <laughs> from before it falls off the end of the world. Um, 
Yeah, I really don't like that. I deeply, deeply do not like that. Same I am. Alright. So while I'm here, I need to start working on getting a wall together. Getting it textured and varied in direction and oh I forgot some temporary blocks I need uh, I need some slime blocks oh that was the other thing that I let run because uh, I, I I keep I keep using slime blocks as temporary blocks for various projects and things and um, just randomly losing them here and there so my my supply was starting to dwindle a smidge and I wanted to do something about that. So a few hours of AFK time got me a few more slime blocks. All right. So I've got some temporary blocks to work with. Matter of fact, you know what? Let me go ahead and just grab two of those. And while I'm thinking about it, let me go ahead and free up a little bit of inventory space. Um, it is eight in the morning. I can go ahead and trade for a few more emeralds, get some more blue glass, and start working towards that too. Because that's going to be the eternal struggle. Like a lot, of, a lot of my, a lot of my downtime in between live streams is going to be spent doing this: trade the iron for emeralds, trade the emeralds for uh, glass and lapis lazuli, so I can use the lapis to to get um, blue dye. What's really going to stink is when I need to do those two layers of cyan. Um, I'm going to have to take a bunch of... Um, yeah, that's that's all I'm going to get out of you guys right now. Unless you want to do another one. Do you want to do another one? Um, I'm going to have to take a bunch of... Oh, I forgot to check on the cactus farm. Because I'm going to have to start taking a bunch of cactus and cooking it down for green dye so that I can make enough of the enough of the um, cyan to cover the area that I want to cover. Yeah, that's been going okay too. I also need to work on getting enough... Uh, I don't know why I feel the need to put that back in the corner like that. Um... I also need to work on getting enough bone meal to get white dye for the light blue. Because remember, three three of the seven layers are um, are blue. The rest, are <laughs> two of them are cyan. Two of them are dark blue. So I'm gonna need. I, I I've been stocking up on the stacks of cyan. I really need to start working on my stacks of light blue. Um, that, that's going to be another one of those things, and I'm going to need a lot of white dye to make that happen. Uh, that's part of why I spent the time doing the the bone meal. We're get, working on getting uh, bone meal out of the mob farm. Because I knew I was going to need... I knew I was going to need that. All right. So that gets me 12. And 12 blue dye should cover one... Two, not you. Uh, three. I actually had a rhythm down for a little while there. Oh, wait, no. I need another another run of blue dye, and then the rest of this I can spend on glass. How you do? Hello. All right. Uh, there we go. Yeah. So one round of trading gets me three stacks of blue stained glass. 
Back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. I wonder if Arcadius is going to get on and finish that Prismarine Tower. Or if it is finished. That does actually look good. Especially from over here. Because I know there was a tower over there that wasn't finished. Actually, I wonder. Is the gate down? Can I, can I, can I walk over there from here? I mean, I know I can do slash warp, but just out of curiosity. I know Medic hasn't been on as much lately. Uh, his new job's got him... Got him working hard. Oh, I still got to do a bee farm too. Uh, yeah, I need to get cracking on a bee farm. Uh, I need, I need honey. I need honey blocks, but I don't, I don't remember what I needed them for. I needed them for something. What did I need the honey blocks for? Ooh. You know what you should do. Get uh get a couple of armor stands and set down like a couple of golden iron nuggets on the floor like somebody's uh somebody's tossed coins into the well. Are you going to leave it a, a flat water surface or are you going to try to set up a little little skinny fountain of sorts? I like your little shrubs too. Using the oak saplings? Yeah, oak sapling. When oh, I just noticed you went and bone mealed all that for the, the short little grass petals. No, oh, that's alright. I can't look in there. I'm not on the admin account. <laughs> ah, I see you have a couple of golems roaming around too. I is this an unintentional iron farm? Because I don't remember you having two of those guys standing outside. I mean, hey, it happens. Uh, may maybe just leave a, a little zombie just out of reach to aggro them and... Get your little iron farm going that way. A second one. Hi. Nope. <laughs> Trading isn't allowed on other islands. Do it in spawn. <laughs> I forget about that. I guess I shouldn't jump over the stream. I, I should actually, you know, use the path. Oh, okay. Those are the two for the challenge. Yeah, the prismarine works pretty well for a path. And yes, I have seen Arcadia standing here fishing too. Oh, I forgot to bring a fishing rod. I could check and see if it'll let me fish on somebody else's island. If I can, you know, not drown in one. Is there a guy in there? Oh, yep, yep, I hear you. I need to get back to work. I'm stalling. You 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 saw <laughs> you, you saw how much glass I have to put down. And then it makes me think of um Oh, you got the wild cats and chicken in the graveyard. You appear to have a couple of chickens. Phantoms over on Medic's Island. Let me not jump around with, you know, the fall right there. <coughs> no, that was not intended as anything nefarious. I just, I got that from him. 
and I needed somewhere to put them because my inventory was full. All right, let's uh, let's get back to things down here, shall we? sword in my inventory just for the space. I'm going to hold off on the glass. I'm going to focus a little more on the cobble and such. Sure. Ugh. I hate inventory management. Alright, let's uh... I think I, I want a little more of the rougher textures towards the bottom. So I might, I might, I don't know, I might end up using a lot more cobble and clay and such. I definitely don't want a pattern though, so we'll just, you know, randomly hit like that. Throw in maybe, uh, not upside down. I really hate placing blocks sometimes. Oh, come on. something else under there. There we go. Let me throw one of those there and there. Uh, let's toss, not that anybody's going to be able to see them, a couple of iron here and there. I can't believe I'm decorating with iron ore. Maybe, maybe a smidgen of coal. I'm going to do that. I need to put something behind there. So that way it looks like you got a little cove like that. Uh, put that there. Get another one over there. Unfortunately, this is still looking all straight and not as roughed up as I would like. Maybe, maybe I'll start, um, yeah. Alright, I'll start 
pushing this back after this layer because uh, yeah putting this much detail down here anyway but I, I don't know how well you're gonna see through the fog so I, I'd rather I'd rather have more detail than you could see than the other way around I feel like I'm missing a block that I should be working into the design down here. I just, I don't remember what it would be. Precariously place. <laughs> I'm a little worried about the stuff that I have sticking out the backside too. Uh, even though I know, even though I know I usually keep this as a mushroom biome, I am kind of worried about accidentally changing something and not realizing it until a creeper falls down and blows up my face. Where's the regular stone? There's the regular stone. This can actually work the way that I think it is. Yeah. Yeah, you're still going to get that little gap in the back. I mean, I don't know who's going to see it, but because it's there. there to keep stuff from spawning on it just in case although I don't know I might I might end up building something on top of that anyway so we'll see
Yeah, I, I want more more spots like that in there too, somehow. Uh, somehow. Somehow, some way. And then we're, yep, yeah, that's the end of the island. Where the land ends. And again, this side, I don't have to worry about what I'm going to do at the end of the glass because nobody's going to see it. There's nobody who's going to be looking from that side of the island. And I think even even if you're on a tower or someplace uh, on that part of Medic's Island, you, you're still not going to you're still not going to see it. So like, we'll have this. I wonder if I get enough. Uh, the only one who's gonna, uh, unless somebody's flying around with a camera account, nobody's nobody's gonna see that side of the island. What they can't see doesn't matter. No, isn't that how that works? I thought that's how that works. Okay, no, that is the end of the island. Because your island is that way. So you're only if you see anything, it'll be the side of that wall. But just to be sure. I'll I'll uh let me start building a little bit of this side here. Let me work away from the edge so I don't absent minded myself off the edge of the world. And I think I'll start working on migrating things into little ravines and crevasses and stuff um, on the next layer up. Because either way, you still got to have a, a baseline somewhere. All right. Hello. Oh! For. Hi! Yeah. Don't go anywhere. I will be right back. Of course you come when I got my inventory full. I got my inventory full. I got no emeralds on me. And that's when you show up. All right. Yep. Yep. Fine. Hey, look. I, I'm just happy he actually showed up. Nine times out of ten, I can't get the, the stupid guy to show up. Uh... Hang on, hang on. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I will be there. You still there, buddy? You didn't jump off the wall. Let me uh, clear up inventory space. I don't know that you got so much to sell that I got to worry about clearing up that much inventory space, but you know what? Is he still down there? Oh, good. Okay. Where did your other llama go? Oh. I need to go down there and look for uh, a lead and some leather. It looks like one of the llamas didn't make it. You'll be happy with that. Fantastic. Uh, I'm not really doing the warp blocks. Uh, the mini blocks. Uh, although I've got some of the warped. I don't. I don't. I don't have an abundance of prismarine yet, or concrete of any kind. Uh, I need all the pods that I can get. Uh, no, I desperately wish I had an ender chest. We can make that work. Uh, I just put the clay away. <laughs> oh come on, man. Alright, I'll take the coral. Uh, I don't need the lime dye, but I hate buying it, but I know I'm going to need the green dye. Uh, I, I don't need a lily of the valley. I don't need beetroot seeds. I don't need lime dye. Nobody needs lime dye. No, I will probably need lime dye for a different project later. Um, 
That's tempting. That's a deal. All right. Look, uh, nothing personal. Nope. I'm gonna make room for the next guy. Now, excuse me while I go look for the remains of your other llama. So where was he? He was somewhere over on this side. No, he's not with the cows. Oh, it would have been so great if the llama landed in that puddle of water. I don't know what I'm going to do with the trader llama, but, I mean, you know. I don't... I don't see the remains of his llama. Oh, sadness. Oh, oh no, no, don't throw that. <laughs> again. Fancy that. Uh, let me box that back up. Let's get the coral and the green. Let's gather our materials and get back get back at it. Matter of fact, let's uh, take this unfortunate totem looking thing. I kind of hate that they're hanging up in the air like that, but uh, it's better than putting them on top of the fire. slabs. Maybe gravel now? Oh. Alright, let me get a little bit more of the second layer in, and then, and no and then, and then. I think I'm going to build from the bridge out this way, and then I'll worry about that direction. Because I do want to head back up to Medic's Island to make sure that you can't really see the division of the, the glass. Actually... I probably should have done that right then, but, uh, or before I jumped down here. This water is not going to take me up, is it? If I take this, uh, this waterway up.
No, no. Oh, there's his other llama. Okay, I'm coming back for you. Yeah, even if you come to the edge of the property, you, you can't see the edge. Changing elevation isn't going to change that. I mean, it, it does look a little funky when you get this way. But I wonder how that's gonna how that's gonna work once you get um, once you get a little more a couple more layers on top too. Is it sugar for the llama or hay? I don't remember. I think it's hay. Or wheat. Oh, it is sugar. Okay. I knew it was something that would help them uh, become your friend a little quicker. I gotta get my sugar cane farm going again, but uh, I've been, I turned it off so I'd have more storage for the for the cacti. Oh. Oh, seriously? You said that after I changed that? Ah, uh, you bum. I don't believe you. You did that on purpose, didn't you? Don't answer that. Uh... I really need to get cracking on that wolf farm, too. post oh and I need a chest I don't know when the caves and cliffs are uh, other than soon ish adjacent sort of uh, I believe that Everything's ready to go up to 1.17, which will at least get us copper and some of the other fun stuff there. But what we as a server have not done yet is sat down to figure out um, just what we're willing to what we're willing to do and not do as far as uh, adding to the stone generator or the cobblestone generator and all that. It was one of those things we kept intending to sit down and do but never actually getting around to sitting down and doing. All right, now that we're not standing on the edge of the precipice, um, you would kindly tame yourself. Why are you standing on the lamp, you fool? I will outlast you. Hi! There we go, so you know he's mine. Oh, 
Oh, wait, no. It's just a right click, not a shift click. Shift click is... Oh, hey! You actually got a decent amount of storage there, too. Nice. All right, the next time Reyes needs a... Uh, says, says, Does anybody have any stone? I, I can... <laughs> I can bring some more. All right. Uh, you, sir, are going to have to hang on to that carpet. Eventually, I will find find another trader llama, and uh, we'll 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 get you we'll get you some company. Well, now that I'm wondering about it, instead of doing, I wonder if I should do fence post, gate, gate, fence post. And if that would give it a little bit more, more of an arch look to it. All right, that, that's not a now problem. That's a later problem. I mean, it could be now and later, but then I'd want some now and laters. Actually, some now and later sound kind of nice. Um, don't bother. I don't have a trapdoor to get into swim mode to try to put a border around that just to see what that la outer edge would look like. But you know what? At the end of the day, I I, I can I can figure out later what it's going to end up looking like. Uh, I can always go back and dig my way back down and put in a border. After the fact. Well, okay. There, there's my couple of stacks of glass. Obviously, I've got a lot of trading <laughs> left to go. Uh, what I need to do is I need to figure out how I'm going to transition from this relatively straight line to that more um, special setup. Stone and stone stairs and cobble and cobble stairs and andesite and andesite stairs. That's right. I meant to. I meant to try and throw a stone under, stone, under there. Maybe one there, and see, see how that looks with a couple of a couple of buttons in. Uh, oh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to show up on that side. But uh, see, see what happens when you throw a couple of buttons in the uh, in the fog effect. I'll check that the next time I'm I'm working my way up. All right, so maybe I'll go ahead and just start throwing in something like so. Maybe like so. get uh, under there a little bit too. Mm-hmm. Oh, who knew this was going to be 
difficult. Everybody who's ever done terraforming before. That's it. Actually, I might do that. Pull, pull this forward a little bit in the glass on a couple of spots. Yeah, that, that might be a better idea. Uh, just take a couple of random spots and pull, pull forward like maybe these guys since I'm already doing something funny with the stairs and do maybe like that and like oh not like that get a little irregular something like that maybe like that because you're going to get a little bit of fog and I, I do I do want a slab uh, here I was thinking I wasn't going to need any slabs or anything silly me we'll do that because remember, th this is going to be fogged out a little bit too, so. Foggy, just like my thoughts. Definitely want to give it a little more, a little more shape. So you'll see, you'll see something down here, and maybe, maybe that's how I can conserve some glass too. Is throw a couple of little cobble patches down at this bottom layer. Oh, another one. Where? Seriously? Hang on. Let me find out where he's at before uh, before I get too happy. Alright, Jopo. Jeppa makes sure Reyes knows when she's asked she does not want to update the launcher yet. I don't think she heard me. So where where's the where is he? Hello? Oh, did he did he spawn on Medic's Island? I bet he did. I don't I don't see a wandering trader. I mean, I guess he could be down there somewhere. Or is that the same... That's the same Wandering Trader notification from the last time, isn't it? No. No, that is that is the second notification. All right. 
So there there should be there should be a wandering trader somewhere here. He's not over by the glass. <sighs> let me let me check the unfortunate and just in case he showed up on Medic's Island. I don't see him around there yet, but I'll look. But my luck, he's somewhere over here. I can't check the tower. Hello. Ah! Ah! Of course. He's over here. He's just not on my island. And he's locked up in the tower. <laughs> How can I... Oh! Hello. How, how, how can I how can I get around this island where I can't open doors? Oh, but how do I get you over to my island if I can't open the door to let you out? Why must you taunt me so? I can't I can't even Ah Ah! Jerk. This is even worse than when, when they spawn on Reyes Island. At least on Reyes Island, I could push them to the void for not being cooperative. Okay, so the button we put at the very bottom, you can't see it in the fog. You can't see it at all, and I'm standing directly above it. You can barely see those two, and, and they are over on the cyan levels. So if I'm going to do anything that I want to, that I want to have peek through the fog. That's going to have to be. That's going to have to be at the at the cyan level at a minimum. Um. Okay, that that's good to know. That's good to know. That that also means that uh, what I might actually do is I might I might try to save on some glass by by doing some piles of. Some piles of stone here and there throughout, and just make sure that the the peaks of which are the the peaks of which end up above the cyan, and then I don't have to worry about putting glass under you know in those areas, and I can conserve a little bit that way. Uh, so it'll look like little rocks and boulders, you know, just below where you can see into the water. Yeah, and that'll that'll say <laughs> that'll save me glass. Uh, yeah, yeah. That'll also give it a little more character too. But that might be a later thing. Um, yeah, that, that'll probably end up being a later thing, but I, I like that. That, that also means that unfortunately, if I couldn't see the button through the fog, you're not seeing that through the fog either, which, which I don't know, I don't know. uh, At least I don't think you will. The button's a smaller a smaller item, so maybe maybe you will see you maybe you will see the patches. So this might actually be a good spot to do something like where we dig up just a little bit 
more. And then go like Although if I was going to I'm going to go ahead and build up there's no point in having the glass underneath. I'll put that there for the moment and put that there like that. Take that up there and put that like that. And take that up there and put that like that. I know, I know. I got those guys underneath and... Well, now that I got something I can build across with. Ah! I must not lose the cobble. I don't know why, but... I must <laughs> not lose the cobble. <laughs> uh, so I might I might leave that formation there just to just to see how it ends up looking underneath. You know, push comes to shove, I get a silk touch pick, I can dig down there and gra and you know uh, make it make it all work out in the end. Uh, yeah, we we can go with that. Then maybe start working my way back a little bit more. Because uh, I, I definitely want to have a couple of little... Little odd bits. Like... We'll throw one of those. Let me let me head down there and pick up the stuff I keep dropping. I mean, I wouldn't want to waste any slime or cobblestone. It's so hard to get those. Hey, I need stone. Hey, uh, do not update your launcher. Optifine does okay. not Optifine does not play nicely with the new launcher. Okay. You I already told up? It no. Hmm. I said no. Okay. Conveniently, I was going to say no anyway. Conveniently? Yeah. Otherwise, I would already push the button. Oh. <laughs> All right. Do uh, you have goats? Uh, I do not have goats. <laughs> Those would be in the update once we got an update together. What's in the background then? What do you mean, what's in the background? Left. Left. I saw little creatures. The in cows? The distance. Nope, left. More left. Your other left. Left. That That's the opposite of how left works. That way. That is literally how left works. <laughs> that, stop. That way. Nope. That guy? Flag. No. <laughs> no, hold on, I'll be right there. <laughs> no. Are you, are you talking about the horses? And the mule? Yes. Oh, I thought the horses were fluffier than they are. The, the those are those are literally the opposite of fluffy. Yeah, yeah, the like the sheep are fluffy. These guys not so much. I, I do actually need to get a couple more saddles. I never <gasps> thought I'd say My that. My grass grew. Yeah, that, that usually happens.
I, I just realized that uh, you, your stairs are about to be very, very convenient. I want my horses at the top level, not at, not at the floor. Although, oh. if you could widen this very precarious one wide uh, gap. Yeah, I can do that real quick. Hold on. <laughs> Um, Hold on, I'm coming. Uh, I'm already up the stairs. Oh. Delay. The this is this is far more precarious than I expected it to be. Uh, <laughs> maybe I won't do the rest of these guys on camera, and, and I'll just show that this is what I did <laughs> three more times. Oh, wait, no, because I don't think you can ride a mule. Or do you have to do the, the carrot on a stick thing with a mule? I don't know, but I got a question about how you think you're going to ride him onto your island. Across the bridge. How tall are you when you're on him? Uh, About to find out. I don't, I don't have a, I don't know. We'll see if his jump is good enough. Actually, now that you mention it, I'm actually a little more worried about the last bit of this, this last bit of stair here. Uh, shoot. Do you need help? Yeah. I, I'm okay. stuck in your floor. That's not weird at all. The this this did not go out. Of, this is this did not go as planned. Oh, that's all. Okay. Maybe. Hold on. I don't know if this guy's got a high enough. Oh wait, no, because I think he's I think he's fatter than a block. Oh, okay. Yes, uh, horses are fatter than a block. Loading, please wait. Oh, you still got your uh, pillager. Back er, up just, pillager. just a smidge. Oh, weren't you going to widen this anyway? Yeah, eventually. What better day than today? Or is this going to be a problem of you're about to run into the other stairs that you forgot were tied into where this one? I'm just making sure there's nothing in any of these, so when I move it, like ah. nothing bad happens. <laughs> <laughs> what are you lolling about over there, Beach Duck? I wonder if we could get Beach Duck to play Minecraft. I don't know. I feel like that's a big if. I mean, there's nothing in the coffee craft charter that she can't drink her wine while uh, playing Minecraft. That is truth. Uh, give that a go. Uh. I'm up on the stairs. Something above me. Okay. Oh, those stairs that I'm going to struggle to fit under anyway. It's cool. I got you. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't suffocate. Don't. Err. <laughs> okay. That was a thing. That was a thing. All right. Put these back. Dude. Don't be doing that while I'm near the edge. <laughs> Maybe even what? The the horse rearing up. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not cool. Like a party fell. Should be good to go. Nope, you need it too wide. Yeah. Nope. Ah, don't. 
Uh, oh, no, don't, don't, don't rear back now. <laughs> Get out. Yep. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. That was, that was just a little smidgen of lag. Uh, I was like, no, I should be able to fit through there. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, I'm going to have to actually find a better, better home for uh, these guys. And I only got the one saddle to move them all with, too. I think I have some random saddles. No, I'll, I'll fish them up. Um. I, I gotta, I gotta do a lot more fishing to get one of the other challenges done anyway. So I'm sure, with my luck, I will be fishing up plenty of saddles before too long. Fair. I'm not going to do the rest Can of those guys sheep today. Can the eat under a fence? What do you mean? Well, you said I needed to make sure that I kept an original grass block, so I'm thinking about keeping one, like, on the actual walkway. Like where? Like, just make it part of the walkway in between, because I don't think oh. they should be able to reach that. Uh... Mm. As long as it's on the other side of the fence, yes. If it is under That's the fence... That's what I mean. So, like, my fence will be here. Yeah. And then I'll have this block in between the fences and then that, and just put this as the block, like, in the ground. Instead I... of sticking up like this. I think that'll be okay. I am reasonably certain that will be okay. Okay. Sounds super confident. Mm -hmm. I am. I'm full of the confident answers today. Cool. I'm sure. Cool, cool, cool. Mostly. Pretty much. Thanks. How did I end up with another random chicken? <laughs> that is funny. And he's always in my wheat farm. Well, yes. That, the... They live for wheat. That part doesn't surprise me. Although I am wondering just how elaborate a slime block launcher I'd have to build to get a chicken egg from down here to up there. I mean, do I have to get them up there? Or if I just got them on the stairs, would they pathfind their way up? I mean... I, I wouldn't think of such a thing. I'm sure. Mm hmm Look, everybody on the stream believes me. Mm-hmm. Don't yep. you? Yeah. Totally. Face of belief right here. Yep, I can see it. <laughs> No, the real trick is if I can build a launcher that'll send that egg diagonally. Like Get to who? Well, I can't get Arcadius's island from here. Oh. Or can you hook up to one of Medic's water streams? Uh, but then it wouldn't actually be throwing the egg, so it wouldn't it wouldn't break. It would just be an item sitting there despawning on his island. Oh, that's depressing. I, I wonder if I built it like right here, could I get just enough diagonal oomph? Yeah, no, because he's he's got the. He's got the way up that the the chickens won't path find. All right, while I'm here, let me uh, let me get some emeralds and blue glass and figure out my life. Okay, that last part's probably not going to happen, but I was about to say, uh, okay, let me know how that goes for you. 
It could happen. Man, I don't know what it is, but the 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 warranty spam calls have been hot and heavy today. Yeah. Like I keep sending them to the call screening, and th this is the final courtesy call. Like, do you promise? Is that a guarantee? Like, can I get that in writing that that this this is the final call about my car's warranty? The final final call like well and truly never to happen again i mean it would just fill me with the utmost joy oh, i'm out of iron yeah okay. there's a part of me that like really really wants to just answer and find a person and just start, oh go like, through go through i have a car <laughs> when did i get a car are you giving me a car is this one of those things is that guy with the big check gonna come to my door uh this is going to sound really old man and on which is why I hesitate to do this mm -hmm. but back in the day when long distance calling was a separate feature of a phone plan <laughs> I can't believe I just said that <laughs> help I got old nope yep <laughs> I'm glad I didn't. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway. A phone company kept uh, bothering me about getting long distance added to my phone plan. And this was before robocalls, too. So it's not like there, it, there was a machine that you just kind of depressedly looked at sadly it was an actual person that you were talking to a and so uh being in a particular mood um I, I i may have played with the person who called to sell me a long distance plan a little i i know that's very hard to believe it is especially coming from the family that you do yeah um so, you know, he, he, <laughs> he, he, he's going on about, you know, so, so, uh, I forget, I forget the initial part of the pitch, but he's like, well, don't you want to call your family? I, said, I don't have any family. What, what, what about your parents? They're dead. Don't, don't you have any aunts or uncle? No. Uh, what about, what about friends? You, you, surely you've got, I don't have any friends. And it just went on like that for uh, not a long time, but longer than I would have expected. And yeah, fun was had by at least one of us. Never been happier to be your sibling. <laughs> what from that? Yeah, it just makes my heart happy to know that other people like me are like, really? No. Like, if you're going to waste my time, cool. I got this. Uh, it, it feels very much like a lot of the a lot of the times that the the Microsoft spammers call Troy Hunt and he starts, you know, playing with them. It, it, and for those who don't know, that is a true joy to watch as somebody trying to run a scam on a security professional go goes through the phone tree and he <laughs> yeah it's good he he ties it's up beautiful. one of them for at least an hour uh i think a little bit more than an hour but it is it is beautiful well, on the one hand there's a part of me that's like okay you know yeah they they've got to do a job too blah blah blah, blah. oh but I just, like, yeah but <laughs> You know, but I just need them to like space the final frontier. <laughs> space, it's personal. Like, how do I make it stop? I 
there's got to be like, is there a button to push or like? No, unfortunately, there's no button. Well, I mean, you, you can push the operator's buttons, but that, don't, that only helps with so much. You see what I'm saying, right? Like, yeah. there's got to be something, something I can do. Surely there is something I can do. Uh, disconnect all phone services and become a hermit. Become more of a hermit. I mean, don't think I haven't been tempted. It would like not. It would not off. take much to become more of a hermit than I already am. I don't like nature enough to live off the grid. You said anything about off the grid. You don't need a phone to order Domino's. True. Or pizza. Very you know, true. if you actually wanted pizza. Domino's some nights. Mm -hmm. I absolutely have happily had Domino's some nights because you know what? When you're hungry, just about everything tastes good. Fair. You really going to tell me that you haven't been so hungry that it honestly did not matter what was served up on that plate? always been limitations for me why is my head on my island it's not on your island it's on my island why is why is there a head on the island because a wandering trader gave it to me well why is the head on my island it's not on your island it's on my island why is it my island adjacent because it's going to your island it identifies it because the twisty staircase to nowhere <laughs> didn't? I mean... Because you needed more of a sign? So, some have said that, that I, do, I do tend to need a little more of a clue than others. I mean, you have your moments, but like... Look, I really want to strenuously object to that characterization. I just want Go you ahead. to know that I seriously want to strenuously object to that okay. characterization. <laughs> You're not going to, you would just like to. Okay. Yeah. As long as we're clear about things. Yeah. I, I would just like to. That that's all. Okay. N nothing nothing more. <laughs> okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Let's uh carefully, carefully. I really dislike that no one can help lay blocks on my island. I mean, they could. You'd have to set up a team and add them to your team and... I can have a team? Mm-hmm. You can. How do I get a team? Well, ostensibly you can. I don't know if it actually works because I've been trying to do this as, as much on my own as I can. You say as you play on the cooperative server. Well, yes. You're being looked at. I know. Okay. It's in a very judgy way. Mm-hmm. Okay. Space class 
so that means there'll be another space. This is gonna take. This is gonna take some time. Uh, this is gonna take a lot of time. Uh. Oh, is there a hungry puppy? Yes, yes, there is. I was about to say, when is there not? Well, I mean, especially not right now. But I'll have to pick that up later. I mean, I wouldn't want to waste any slime. There's also a puppy who has had to endure harsh and difficult circumstances. Mm -hmm. He had to get some extra cheese with his medication. Mm -hmm. It was a challenge, to be sure. Do you know how cute he had to look to get that cheese? <clears throat> like, come on, be real. He had to be adorable. Oh, yes, because that's normally a challenge for him. It is. He can't just adorable on command. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. That's Java. Just unable to adorable on command. Um... We'll go with that. Except I want to make sure I don't go too far back just yet. There's nothing against my island yet. Hmm? Yeah, there is. There's a bridge. scant no uh, there are no scamps in the game until we add uh, mods oh scant not scamp yes mm -hmm. there is a scant sliver of blockage Mm-hmm. Just getting there. I gotta figure out what I'm doing on that side, because I gotta make sure that where the mob farm is, mobs don't spawn and wander off into your island. I mean, unless you'd like me to disregard that particular conundrum. Have I mentioned your lack of amusingness? No? Oh... I need a lot more dirt and a lot less chickens. What's wrong with the chickens? Aren't you going to want chicken eggs? I mean, eventually, but I need them to not continually spawn in places I didn't put them. You can tell that to the game. Yeah, 
Yeah, I gotta figure out where some more rock formations are gonna go so I can tear up the glass that'll be underneath them. And, uh, reclaim a bit more blue glass so I don't have to craft up quite as much. I'll probably put a couple over here on this side. I might, I might actually do that near where the border is. And, uh... Yeah, I might... That might not be a bad idea. Hmm. I'll have to think about that. Instead of having the glass just kind of go off into the into the yonder, have a land border. No, no. I'll, I'll stick with my original plan. Never mind. Never mind. All right. Uh, it's gonna be Was a I needed for this dialogue. Hmm. Was I needed for that dialogue? Thanks. I appreciate that. Uh, I need more coral. Because I can start throwing some uh, dead coral under this thing. Oh, I need to get rid of that cobble half slab bridge. That's underneath the main bridge. All right. I'm going to need to work on getting some more uh, andesite. I refuse to put diorite in this build in any way, shape, or form. Why? I'm trying to go as long as possible without putting down a piece of diorite. No, I probably already have. I, I think I did it in my cheapo mob farm. Because you dislike diorite? Sometimes. I also don't think a random white block in there is going to look... Actually, no. Maybe, maybe I will... Alright, all right, fine. Fine. Maybe, maybe I'll try to throw a little couple of veins of diorite in there. Uh, guess if I'm going to do that, I'm going to need some stairs too. Maybe the walls. No slabs. I'm going to do that. I might as well throw in some granite too. Sorry, granite. Um, so, Mo Yang, about that inventory. <sighs> inventory space? I can has inventory, yeah, please. Fix that whenever <laughs> they want. Uh, it looks like bundles will not make it to the 1.18 update. Mm. They've been pushed back indefinitely. Why? Uh. Oh, <laughs> of course I can't complete the challenge because my inventory is full. I don't have room in my inventory for. Two stacks of pumpkins. I certainly don't have enough for however many stacks of melons. Alright. Uh, fine. I'll let those accumulate. Um, yeah. Ostensibly they're not making it in because they're having trouble getting the, uh, getting the bundles to work right. I also suspect that they're finding out that it's not the solution they thought it would be for the community. What do you think the solution is for the community? Uh, that is a good question. Mm -hmm. I That's know... I asked. Like, the shulker, box, shulker boxes are a partial solution. Uh, it is a lot of storage for whatever. 
in one inventory space. The problem is that you have to keep putting them down and picking them up in the world, and they're not an early game solution. Like you, you just not you. You're not going to get those until you get to the end. Now, I, I say that, and I know that there's going to be those people who point out that they reach the end within the first day of playing Minecraft, and they don't see what the problem is. They're not most people. I was about to say, and congrats, and you're very elite, and we all really, really admire you. Yeah. I still have that stack of pumpkins in there from when it was trying to put them in my inventory. Um, my statement for those people. Yeah. Having some... the Part of the problem with bundles... Yeah, let, let's start with the problem of bundles and then we'll get into fixing them. Uh, part of the problem with bundles was it wasn't a lot of storage at all. Um... It was very, very minute storage. So you've got two slots. No, it was more than two slots. You get 64 items, which for cleaning up some of the random stuff is okay. But like right now, uh, a bundle is not going to make a significant dent in my inventory problem. I could take the 11 buttons and the four ender pearls and toss them into a into a bundle and the bed. A and my bow and arrow and sword. Except if I need my bow, arrow and sword in a hurry, I don't have a way to pull just those out of out of the bundle. I have two options. I either empty everything in the bundle on the ground and then hope that I can pick up my sword and bow before it becomes even more of a problem because the zombie picked up my bow or sword. Okay. Um, or I have to pull them back out in reverse order. So if I put the bow, sword, and arrows in first, and then the buttons, and then the ender pearl, if I'm going to pull items out without dumping the whole thing on the ground, I get to pull out the ender pearl then pull out the buttons, and then I can get the arrows, and then I can get the sword. Um, Was it supposed to, like, mimic IRL packing a bag or something? I don't, I don't know what the thought process was, but that does... That would be a reasonable presumption, I suspect. Uh, so... If I wanted to pack a bag IRL, I would... Uh, yes, but even then, uh, I can go to my work bag and get the fret file out without having to pull out everything in the reverse order I packed it. Ooh, you know what else I have in the real world that's not in here? What? Corners. Curves. Balls. Well, okay, it's a block. The, the the game is all about blocks. I uh That's what I'm saying. Like it's not a realistic game. Like if it were a game that was ensconced in realism, maybe yeah. I could understand that. So the the bundle could be could be helpful if it had if it had the tweak of being able to be opened while in the inventory. Like, if you right-clicked on it, instead of just pulling out the last item, it opened up another inventory box. So you could pull out just the one thing from the bundle. Uh, but even then, it would need just a little more capacity. Maybe not a full shulker box, because then, then you start going, well, why do I want shulker boxes? Um... So, so like maybe maybe three stacks or or a three by three, um, or something like that. I mean, I guess the other thing is is I could always just you know start dragging a train of llamas around, which I think is what they thought was going to happen with the llamas in the storage, and it really is a nice idea in the sense that that is nice extra storage, but. Honestly, all it is is a shulker box with legs. 
and a variable amount of storage. And, and so, oh, and, and with a lead that keeps breaking. Yeah. That. So, I mean, that that is an option in the sense that I could do that to expand my storage. But how am I going to get a llama down there to work? Put them in a boat and ride them off into the into the glass river, and then how do I get them back up? So so we got uh, that wasn't a smart idea. Uh, so we got those kinds of problems that that still need to be still need to be solved in some way. Um, but some sort of midpoint is what is needed where you get a little more storage and the ability to open it in inventory those seem to be the two crucial components to this particular mess didn't they just make our inventory bigger like don't we have the technology we can do it uh we do have the technology we could make the inventory bigger uh which is an option too Especially given the number of blocks that's been added. Uh, the other thing that would be nice is we've got this spot right here between our crafting and our items, you know, to make a leather backpack. You know, so so you make the, the, the bundles out of the mini leather and out of the full-size leather, you make a backpack. Um... But again, it would have to be something that you could empty from the open from within the inventory. And a lot of that depends on how they did the windowing for the inventory screen and all that. So, you know, the programmers might have a little bit of an interesting time trying to open a menu within a menu kind of deal. So, to answer your question, that is uh, that that is closer to what I think would would help. Hmm. That was a weighty. Hmm. I'm just thinking about the conundrum. Because I, I, I do understand some of the problems that come at the programming end of it, too. A lot of it depends on the framework that they have to work within. And I, I deeply suspect that when the game was first created, there, there's a lot of things that weren't, uh, <laughs> that weren't considered. I, I don't think anybody really expected this to, to take off quite like it did. Why you always plan for success? Are, are we back to four or forty territory? We are back to four or forty. All right, Had to have that type of conversation with someone else today. <laughs> I was wondering about that. Just the ongoing saga of. Thinking about things differently. I hear it was even a company logo or something. To think different. Thinking about things differently? Oh. Yeah, Think Different was the Apple slogan for quite some time. It might still be for all I, for all I remember. Unfortunately, uh... think different doesn't seem to be the forte of the current CEO. Oh. He's a supply, he's a supply chain guy. That that was his specialty. What was dealing with supply chain and keeping everything moving and ordering parts and managing inventory and uh 
that there's that, nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that, but that doesn't necessarily lead to the type of CEO that the company needs. Fair. Oh, hang on. I gotta. I gotta look something up. Um. I can't remember if it was you or Arcadius that I was talking to. Um, yeah, I can't tell if your reply was to Troy's search to Sarah going back or the thing about the ads. Which reply? Uh, I know that life. I figured it was probably yeah. Troy's thing because, uh, for for context, Troy Hunt was at the recommendation of a friend bought a really nice, really expensive Rode microphone that's supposed to attach to his iPhone, oh, so yep. that way when he's working remotely, he can still record his weekly podcast. Uh, that that is at least that that was the intent. Um. Unfortunately, the microphone is, um, less than optimal for Troy's needs. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll go with less than optimal for Troy's needs. Uh, to start with, you can't plug in the microphone when a case is on. Hmm. The connector's not long enough to get past a case. And I'm not even talking about a chunky case. I I'm just talking about a case. Because uh, I, I know some cases are, are chunky enough that, yeah, nothing nothing else is going to... No nothing else is going to fit while that's plugged in. Did I actually hit where the glass fell? Where did the glass fall? I guess I did. Where is it over here? Uh... And the it, it's apparently super sensitive to noise, and its noise suppression technology is lacking. Uh, basically, when a faintest wind blows, even with the windsock on, it you suddenly get more static than an AM radio station. Because the noise canceling is working harder than it should. Oh. So he he went to write up his problems on Twitter and was looking for the official road account. Uh, so he goes to the Twitter search and he types in R O D E. Do not do this. Do do not do not do this to yourself. Because the search result that came up made a man who's made a career and a living working on the internet go, uh, I've seen a lot of things, but I was not expecting that. That's sad. He broke the interwebs. Uh, well, well, let, let's just say the world supply of brain, bre brain bleach is probably down a couple of quarts. Okay. Because, yeah, that that was apparently uh, <laughs> not... I think this concept is not unfamiliar to me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he wasn't trying to look for, for squirt or anything, but... Or wands. Yeah. Oh, come on! <sighs> Catch the glass. You have one job. 
Are you shift clicking? I, I am shift clicking to not fall through the glass, but that doesn't the when you break an item, it pops off in a random direction. So if it's not within the radius of which you're, you're going to pick it up like that one, then you just won't pick it up. I mean, on the one hand, uh, it's not like I don't have a near infinite supply of glass with all the, the villagers, but it's not like I want to spend all day trading with them either. Uh, but the other part was, which I actually thought kind of reminded me of someone. <clears throat> Sarah Lane might be returning back to work a couple weeks early because she is apparently finding um, the time off. Uh, she, she, I feel like that is a stone you might not want to be casting. She she's she's really really struggling with taking time off and uh, and dealing with recovery. Pots, kettles. Huh? What? How fast after your thing did you go back? Wait, weren't you trying to solve computer problems coming out of anesthesia? I have no recollection. I legit have no <laughs> recollection of that. <laughs> I know you don't. And that's what I'm here for. <laughs> I have no idea. I cannot be held responsible for anything that I said or did coming out of anesthesia. <laughs> uh-huh. Like, you were literally working while you were under. Uh, but yeah, uh, according according to Tom uh, yesterday, because I haven't listened to today's show yet, um, Sarah is doing well and recovering and, and just really trying. She might be back. And Tom, Tom's frequent, like, she might be back. No pressure. Th this is not a race. Like, like, like. Let, let's be cool. Yeah, I'm not making her come what back. What procedure did she have? Um, the the breast cancer tumor removed. Ah, okay. So, yeah, it, it's that kind of. And that's like one of those uncomfortable ones where, like, no matter what you do, you move those muscles. Yes. And there's That's no, there's no, also no indication of the size of the mass removed, which also changes things. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah. So she, she's on, on the mend ish. Adjacent. Doing well. Being bored. Trying to work Fair. even though Tom's like, look, you, <laughs> if you're not up to it, you're not up to it. You don't have to come back right now. Take your time. Do the recovery. It'll be okay. Isn't your island like cool now? Wait, what are you gonna say it like that? What? No, Isn't it I cool now? It <laughs> like, like uh, I mean, no, like, I thought it was pretty cool the... before now, but uh, you know, I mean, I couldn't remember what the reward was for hitting the top level. 
<laughs> yes, it is at level 500. It, it, it is technically Skylord. That. That was the word that I could not find in my head. Of course, now I really want uh, who's gonna call it to go. Who? Uh, maybe I will mix more of those in. Alright, so that's going to be glass. That's going to be empty. That's going to be glass. That means the next layer is going to be empty. And that still might not be seen. I think I need to make that taller. Although they're being larger, that might be okay. I, I think what I might have to do is I might have to figure out where the top is and then work my way back down for that one. But, uh... Are you near a bed? Hmm? Are you near a bed? I'm near the one in my inventory. I can't actually sleep until 1833. You know how I feel about that. <laughs> What, that mine crusher let you sleep earlier? Yeah. Is, is it going to wake you up in the middle of the night two times two? And that how life works? So, so it seems. So it seems. Yeah, because I think... For the top of the formations, I want them to show up just under that bit of cyan. So I don't think that pile there is going to be tall enough, but I might let it go anyway and see if it works. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. If it does, great. And then work on a taller formation in a different spot. So I'm going to try to reclaim some of the glass and add a little more character to this river because it is looking awfully square and flat. But I, uh, it's also two and a half hours right now, so I think I think that is going to be it for tonight. Uh, I will probably be back on this river project, uh, <laughs> both off camera and on. Although, I need to start looking at some of the other challenges. Uh, let's, before I sign off, let's take a quick uh, survey of the remaining challenges. I gotta get the deep sea fishing. And in order to get the prismarine shards and crystals, that means I need a guardian farm so I might take a brief break from the river project to build a guardian farm uh, I need a kelp farm because I need 64 dried kelp blocks and kelp is also very useful for a wide variety of things so I need a kelp farm so I gotta get the kelp farm the guardian farm I need to get some more music discs I think that was one of the one of the rewards for a different challenge was music discs. Um, what are the music discs for? For the Maestro challenge. You need to collect you need to collect a jukebox and each of the music discs. Uh thankfully it does not include pig stuff. And worn some clay. Is that really a thing? Yeah. Yeah, pig step was added when the uh, when the which one call it's the bastions were added. Pig step. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ooh. And I need I need to do top chef. 
Uh, but in order to do Top Chef, I need to get all the farms going because I got the baked potato. I've got the bread. I got everything I need to make cake, cooked chicken. I got cod and salmon. I need some more tropical fish. I need I need a pig farm so I can get some cooked pork chop. I need I got plenty of cookies. Uh, I think I got enough to make some golden apples, golden carrots, mushroom stew, pumpkin pie. I need the beef farm to make the cooked beef, and I got melons and carrots galore. Um, and that'll get me my mushroom. I I. I put those cows on on the platform that they're on in the hopes that one of them would turn into a mushroom. Um, or barring that, that um, a, a mushroom would randomly spawn down there, but neither has happened. Sadness. Uh, oh. What other challenges? Oh, no, 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 I didn't want to return home. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I, I've also got all the world foods, but I'm not going to be able to get those done. I'm not even going to look at those until I get Top Chef. So Top Chef is going to be all those foodstuffs. Let's see. Let's start at the top. I got the cobble generator, apple, sugar, melon, cactus, pumpkin, stone brick maker. Um, and none of those had it. I've reached island level 500, and that is it for those challenges. I've done Lumberjack and Shroom Collector, although I might I might get a decent mushroom farm going. Um, getting for some more mycelium would be kind of nice. I got the potato harvester, carrot, wheat, the monster farm. Uh, homeowner, which you can't repeat. I could do the nether mining again. That'll get me, <laughs> that'll get me the blazer rods I need. Although, great googly moogly, that's a lot of stuff for a blaze rod. I need to figure out how to make a blaze farm. Uh, I got sawmill. I got torch maker. I, I'm work, no, I have done expert farmer. That's right, that's how I got my two cows. Um, I did fisherman. Emerald sheep flowers. I did my wool collector twice. That's how I got the two sheep. I need maestro, but I can't do that until I get more music discs. One of these gave you a music disc as a reward. I got the iron farm that you can't repeat. I need to build a nether fortress. I'm going to need a lot of nether bricks on that one, though. Uh, yikes. Except I need nether fortress to get uh, one of these. Uh, yeah, to get the Beaconator challenge. Pearl collector. I, ooh. I could set up an ender pearl farm in the nether. And use that to get my blaze rods. I need to do the animal farm challenge. <laughs> I've done the slime farmer uh, a few times. That That's not worth trading in. Um, I've done horsing around. I need to do deep sea fishing. A cookie lover and carpenter. Glass maker. Technician. Emerald collector. Did it only give you the, the record the first time you do it? Alright, I'll have to go back and look again when I get a little more focus. So, Great Pyramid, I'm working towards. I'm slowly accumulating the sandstone needed to make that happen. Top Chef, I gotta get my animal farms together. So that might be, that might be a next week thing. Um... Yeah, Top Chef and Animal Farm both require those two farms, so that that definitely be a twofer. And then I gotta get the the I 
I gotta get the deep sea fishing going. And the, the guardian farm and the kelp farm to get the deep sea fishing going. Cool. One of these gave you a record. Or maybe it was only the first time. Bah. I thought that... I don't know. I could have sworn it was one that I finished more than once. Myself somewhere safe. Start working on the animal farms. Silencing them all. That, that's what I need to do. I need to start. Oh, I lost three of my name tag people. Ah. All right. Start trading up some name tags so I can silence all the animals as I put them in the farm. <laughs> Thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Uh, it is time to call it a night. Every Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern is definitely Coffee Craft. Fridays are still a little up in the air at the moment. I need to finish the uh, Games Revisited Zelda series and start prep on the next one. Um, that's going to depend a lot on how the rest of this week goes. Uh, either way, I will be live with something at 6.30 p.m. on Friday. So uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow along. All this gets uploaded to YouTube later. Go ahead and uh, do the subscribe -y thing and hit the bell if you want the actual notifications and all that good fun stuff. That way you get notified when stuff goes live and all that good, good fun. I'm going to hit the title screen and then we're... I forgot to raid somebody last time, so let's see who's available for a raid. It looks like Beast Lord is available for a raid, so I'm going to hit the title screen and we're going to go join him while he plays Resident Evil Village, and uh, we'll go from there. Have fun. Stick around for the raid.